thank you for joining me you know who I am by now uh, I put together a collection of some of the modding tools uh, used by the DJI uh, community who do modifications to their drones now apart from uh, no limit drones and the drone hacks tool which you can see on the tool here uh, the other ones are for some of the older quads uh, so it doesn't work with all of them so just take a look at the tool if you want to and if it works for you great if it doesn't you know sorry that's just the way things are uh, the first tool is the dank drone downloader tool covered this uh, on a video about the anti-rollback uh, dji modder you can create a patch version of the dji go 4 app super patcher uh, by brett um, this is for the mavic pro and i think it's the p4 pro as well the instructions for super patcher will tell you what quads it's for uh, Super Patch allows you to basically modify your Mavic Pro uh, to get rid of height limits, uh, no fly zones, etc. Add Galileo satellites is a really good tool and it's free to use as well. It's a little bit complicated, so I will go through uh, each tool in turn uh, later on in the video to show you how it all works. We have Silencio, uh, a great little app uh, written by a guy called Jan2600 from the Phantom Pilots Forum, and it shuts up the annoying beep that the controller makes in the Mavic Pro but it's just for the Mavic Pro. He was gonna port it, but unfortunately he never got around to doing that. Uh, we also have CIA Jeep Doors tool. Uh, I've done a video on this about removing the drone ID. Again, there are caveats, it doesn't work for every uh, quad, it doesn't work for every firmware version. Uh, so if it doesn't work for you again, apologies for that. Uh, Dumbledore, uh, this is the tool by Jezab. Uh, this allows you to flash uh, any firmware to your quad if your quad allows the firmware to be flashed to it. Again, the caveat. Uh, the Jackson FCC mod, uh, you can enable FCC mode on the Mavic Pro and the P4 Pro V2 only. And then there is the No Limits Drone tool, uh, which you probably will know about. If you don't know about No Limits Drones, it's a hacking tool, the same as the Drone Hacks tool. Uh, drone Hacks tool just takes you to the website, they update their version quite often. If the No Limit Drones doesn't automatically update, I will release a new version of the tool with the updated version or just a link to the website. Okay, to get this tool is really easy. You need to head over to my uh, GitHub page here. I will put the link down below for it. Uh, when you're on this page here, you just need to click on the green code button and download zip. Now this is downloaded as a RAR file, so you will need uh, WinRAR installing. If you just Google search WinRAR, you can install it. Once it's downloaded, we just need to go to our downloads folder and you'll find the tool here. It's called Mod Tool Main Zip. That name may change as I create new versions of it. Double click it and it will then open up in WinRAR. As you can see, my version has uh, expired. Just left click on that to turn it blue and then hold down left click and just drag that to your desktop there like that. Once that's done, if you go in here, you will find four files. There's a readme there. You can read that if you want to. Just click on there where it says runme.bat. You'll now see it says modding tool set up due to file size limitation on GitHub. I've had to host the file on Dropbox. If you're happy with this, just press any key to continue. We'll then say please wait, and it will start to download the mod tool set up file from my Dropbox. It shouldn't take too long if you are on a, a decent internet connection. Once it's downloaded, just leave it to stand for a second. It will launch the installer program. Just click on next, 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 start, and then let it just install itself. Once it's finished, just click next and then exit. This blue box will just say press any key to continue. That will then close out. And the tool is now installed and there's a shortcut on your desktop to mod tool V9. This may change to V10, etc. as I update the tool. Okay, so let's take a look at the tool. Uh, we have the Dank Drone Downloader tool. Uh, this tool allows you to download any firmware uh, for the DJI range of quads. Now it is self-updating, so it will check for updates in RAR when it will prompt you to update itself. I won't go too much into this tool because I have done a video about it and I will put a link below uh, regarding the ARB values. Okay, the next tool is the DJI Modder. You can create a patched version of the DJI Go 4. Um, what can you do with the patch version? The things like uh, remove login uh, so DJI doesn't know uh, that you're flying uh, with the app. Uh, offline mode, uh, there's lots of things it can do. Uh, but the first thing you need to do uh, before you actually run this tool is to install Java. Uh, to do that, you simply go to the web address here, which I'll put in the link down below. 
I will update the tool uh, with a link to install in Java. Uh, you just basically just click on download Java and then follow the instructions. So once Java is installed, just click the link and it will give you two options, no Google Maps or Google Maps working. Uh, there was originally some extra work required, uh, but I've cut all that down and made it a little bit easier for a more novice person to uh, get it working with Google Maps. So just press two and enter, and then it will launch the screen. And here are all the options you've got, adjust altitude, uh, crystal screen, allow Google Map, uh, quite a few options you can choose. So you just choose them, just press number one, number two, press enter. Then when you're ready, you just click the P to patch the app and then the app will then be outputted to a folder, which it will tell you at the end of the script. And that's it, you just sideload that then onto your Android device. The next tool is Brett's uh, Super Patcher program. Uh, I'm gonna click the link on that, and it will do some initial work. It'll download some stuff, and then it will take you to the main page, where it will tell you what it's all about and what works. So on this one, uh, Super Patcher works on the Mavic Pro, which includes the Platinum and Arctic White, the Spark, the Phantom 4 Pro, Phantom 4 Standard, the Phantom 4 Advanced, the Phantom 4 Pro V2, and the Inspire 2. And with this tool, so we'll just pick number one for now, uh, you can run the Super Patcher program, uh, download and flash the correct stop firmware, basically just follow the prompts on this one. Uh, now the only thing I will say is that for the P4, uh, the Galileo patch is a little bit flaky, and it has caused issues. So if you've got a P4, I would suggest you invest in No Limit Drones or the Drone Hacks tool. Because uh, as I said, the Galileo patch has caused issues for some users. So that's the warning I'm going to give you. Uh, it works fine for the Mavic Pro, the Spark, etc. It's just the P4 range it seems to have an issue with. Okay, next tool is the Silencio. This is a simple, easy little program. Uh, just click Accept on the license agreement. And then you basically just plug in your Mavic Pro controller. Uh, it's a paid for app. I think it's only about five dollars or something uh, And it takes away the annoying beep 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 on return and the starts up tones If you don't pay for it, then you get a rather funky little tone uh, on start up Dead easy dead simple to use. It doesn't need me to go through this just follow the prompts Okay, next tool is the CIA Jeep doors. Uh, I've done a video on this so I will link the CIA Jeep doors program uh, video I should say down below Let it boot up and you get the options here. Uh, do read the little notes and everything because there are some caveats as to whether it can fully remove your uh, drone ID. Next one on the list is the Jackson FCC mod. Uh, basically connect your quadrant power it's on. It will then pop up Dumbledore, which you saw before, and you then need to enable ADB. Just follow the prompts and it will tell you which ones it worked for. It's the Mavic Pro Platinum and the Phantom Pro V2. Gives you FCC mode of various flavours. It's a really, really good programme and, of course, it's free. Well, doing this video, I realised there was actually another tool uh, in the modding collection that I'd not put a button on, and this is for this one. It's the Gimbal Calibration Tool. Uh, it works with nearly uh, all of the quads shown on here, and uh, I believe it works pretty well for the Mavics, the Minis, uh, the P4s I'm not too sure about, and the Phantom 3 range. You've got an issue with the Gimbal not being quite calibrated, uh, just connect your quad and click the relevant button. You will need to install Python uh, for the tool to work. There's a video here that uh, shows you how to install the Python tool. Won't be showing you anything, so I'd have to connect up a quad to uh, show you how it all works, but it's pretty much self-explanatory. Now the last two, No Limit Drones and Drone Hacks tool, uh, really don't need ex any explanation. I will put links in the description uh, for their websites. If you've not come across No Limit Drones or the Drone Hacks tool, do go and have a read the web pages. These guys are basically now are modding pretty much all the new quads as they come out uh, where they can. It does take a little while for new quads to appear on things like No Limit Drones and the Drone Hacks tool. But if you've got one of the new quads and there's something you want to do with it, go to one of their websites, take your pick and uh, read the instructions. Uh, they have like bird maps They show you what you can and can't do with it. And that's it, that's the tool. Uh, a little collection, you can just leave it on your desktop and uh, if you are uh, got one of the older quads, then you can do so much with the tools. As I said, not so much for the newer stuff. This was the set of tools created basically a long time ago uh, when the older quads like the Phantom 4s, uh, the Mavics, the Sparks, etc., uh, were the big thing at the time. Don't work too well with the newer Mavic 3s, etc., etc. Uh, if you like this video, of course, do please give me a thumbs up. Please do subscribe if you've not subscribed to the channel already. 
And as I always say, wherever you fly, however you fly, always fly safely.